good day to all of my viewers. I hope you're having a fine day today. Without any further ado, let's begin with this week's installment of Tech News. At November 30th, Microsoft put even more nails in the Internet Explorer browser's coffin by removing support for Microsoft Teams. As we know, in, in August, Microsoft began like, the plans for killing off the Internet Explorer and how they plan to eventually put to rest this ancient browser. As part of their plan, Microsoft Teams no longer supports Internet Explorer, although it might still work. It will be a degraded experience, and it is not guaranteed that it will work properly. And on top of that, Microsoft will no longer provide support. Microsoft has compiled a list of 1,200 sites that no longer are compatible with said browser and will be redirected to Microsoft Edge. Some of these sites being Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive, Yahoo Mail, and plenty of others. The Xbox Series X and S. The Xbox Series S is turning out to be a great emulation device as a YouTuber modern vintage gamer put it to the test emulating various PS2 titles which seem to run almost flawlessly with only a few texture related issues. If you are bummed out because Sony only supports one gen backwards compatibility you can now consider Microsoft's Xbox Series S. Not only is it backwards compatible with all previous generations of Xbox games but it seems it's not compatible with PS2 games as well. Modern Vintage Gamer achieved this by using the open source emulator from RetroArch and reports many of them run just fine. The emulator itself is also capable of running GameCube and other gaming system titles. Sony seems to have involved some sort of the dice game with the new PS5 consoles as a French tech site has discovered through multiple PS5 teardowns that the consoles come equipped with three different cooling fans. They discovered this after realizing their, that their test unit was much quieter than the one personally owned, so they turned down five PS5s to encounter the issue, which seemed to be as diff seemed to be as different fan designs being used in between the five consoles. Two of them used the quieter fan, while the other three employed two distinct fan designs. This is a totally legal. This is totally legal for Sony to do, as they can use the same component for from different sources as long as they do their intended job, so be wary of this when buying it, because you might luck out with the noisier ones instead of the quiet ones. Qualcomm yesterday on its second day of their tech summit announced and details the specs of their Snapdragon 888 processor, the predecessor of the Snapdragon 865 which powered the previous generation of flagship phones. The Snapdragon 888 brings to the table various performance boosts compared to the last generation of Snapdragon series flagship chipsets. On the CPU side being 25% faster and on the GPU bringing a 35% performance increase. And the Adreno 660 GPU it features improves power efficiency by 20%. Qualcomm says it is the biggest jump forward so far. On top of these performance gains the Snapdragon 888 will also include their third generation 5G X60 modem integrated directly into it and will support sub 6 and millimeter wave. Qualcomm said it will also have support for Wi Fi 6 and 6 GHz Wi Fi 6E. On top of this, Qualcomm also boosted its AI performance. They claim that the 780 processor can perform over 26 trillion operations a second and nice jump over the 865's 15 trillion. All this while the AI being three times more power efficient. The chip also received an updated ISP image, which is the image sensor processor which can now do more according to them. It can take photos and videos at up to 2.7 gigapixels per second, a 35% increase over the 865, making it about 120 megapixel shots per second. There have been a total of 14 OEM confirmed to be developed in devices with the Snapdragon 888, these being Asus, Blackshark, Lenovo, LG, Meizu, Motorola, Nubia, Realme, OnePlus, Oppo, Sharp, Vivo, Xiaomi and CDE. It is odd not seeing Samsung in here. That might be something else to keep an eye on for the next Samsung flagships. In other news, the UK retailer Very cancelled a pretty big number of next gen console orders, which of were believed to have been placed by a group of scalpers targeting these new next gen consoles. The UK based Crab Chief Notify which has thousands of paid membership is set to utilize bot software to circumvent online retail queues and automatically purchase sought-after sought products as they come in stock. 
it recently rose to prominence after it boasted that its members had obtained some 3,500 PS5 consoles to resell for profit. But Barry since said that next-gen consoles through its website on Sunday were only able to be ordered due to a technical error. The orders, which were placed by legitimate customers as well as scalpers, will be canceled and refunded within 10 days. And I quote, as a result of a technical error, some people were able to place orders for PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles for a short time on Sunday. However, these items are not on sale and affected customers have received notice that the orders have been canceled. We apologize for the confusion caused, the online retailer said. This sucks considering plenty of people are trying to get their hands on these next-gen consoles, but hopefully with this, even more people can get their hands on it rather than scalpers. That'll be all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoy. Consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I hope you have a great and amazing week and day. Thank you for watching.